Hi guys, how's it going? Um, I decided to make a video about some questions people have been asking me about the Growler or I assume military vehicles in general. So here it goes. Uh, number one, uh, where did you buy it? Um, so I, I bought this vehicle on ironplanet.com. I think they have a sister website called govplanet.com. Um, and the way it works, uh, the process for that at least was, um, first I you know, went and checked out the website because my brother told me about it. Um, and then I decided to make an account. Once I made the account, um, Iron Planet gave me, I think, $150,000 credit line, um, which seemed like a lot for not having to show that I had any income or anything like that. Um, they just kind of give it to you. Um, so time went on and I was looking at different auctions and, and uh, this one with the Growler came up and uh, I think it was a couple weeks out. So you can put a pre-bid in. Uh, and you can bid however much you, your top bid is going to be um, and it will save that bid and it will also tell you if you currently have the winning bid. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you win ahead of time. They still have a live auction, um, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, huh, well, I guess I'll get into it right now. Um, so yeah, they have a live auction. So I think I bid maybe a week in advance. Uh, and I put my maximum bid and the day of the live auction came and I think they give maybe a couple of hours or an hour or so um, of live auction but as time goes on so say I had my bid at one dollar um, at live auction I might be the, the highest bidder but somebody might get in there and they bid a dollar and a nickel uh, and then so it'll add extra time for me to you know bid back and and try and win the auction again and then if I get a higher bid then it you know gives the other guy a chance as well and that'll keep going until um, time runs out and so I think for me it, it kept going and, and the person bidding against me kept bidding and bidding and bidding and it just kept going up and up and I already had my pre-bid number in so um, I just kept having to pay more and more uh, because it hadn't reached what I had put as my maximum yet. Um, let's see what happens after the auction. Uh, so I won the auction on May 13th. Um, and so immediately, you know, they let you know that you won the auction and, and they let you know at what price. And, and then they also break it down and, and tell you um, these are the state taxes you have to pay. This is the, you know, transaction fee or, or fee that Government Planet gets or Iron Planet gets. Um, and all that um, ended up being about 20% of the winning bid. So I think I won somewhere over just over thirty thousand uh, dollars and then there were six thousand dollars in taxes for the state and and fees from Iron Planet um, and then um, they want their payment within three days so I had to make payment um, by the 16th of May um, and you do a wire transfer from your bank I, I think they have financing options as well um, but from the way I saw it the financing was only available towards businesses uh, so if I was buying like a, a I don't know a bulldozer um, for my business then you know they um, have business financing where they'll give you a you know interest rate and let, loan you the money um, I don't know if that's available for personal use vehicles um, but it'd be something to look into uh, because it's a quite a chunk of change to have to send out by transfer. Um, what else? 
Uh, oh, so after you make your payment, you have to fill out a end user certificate form. Um, it kind of outlines, you know, what you plan to use the vehicle for, if you plan to sell it. Um, do you have anything in your history that uh, would preclude you from uh, being able to receive a government? Uh, vehicle like this, uh, things like that. And so uh, you fill that form out, you email it to them. I, I think you can also mail it, but I emailed it because it seemed like it would be faster. Um, I think, yeah, so I, I mailed, emailed it out on June. I, I probably did it right away. And then on June 6th, I got an, an email that says they had received it. Um, so it was kind of like radio silence. And I think I I sent like three different end user certificates because I wasn't sure if they had received it or not initially. Then on June 19th I was sent a message that the end user certificate had been approved and my vehicle was available for pickup. And so they also tell you that you have seven days after approval to pick up your vehicle. After that you start to get charged um, a per day rate. I'm not sure what that rate was. I never had to worry about it uh, because I was able to have the vehicle picked up in time. Um, so once your end user certificate is approved and they tell you you can pick up your vehicle, Iron Planet, as long as you tell them it's okay, they have a bidding system where they bid out transport of your vehicle um, to different freight liners and you know trucking companies and things like that. And so I was contacted by maybe 10 or, or 12 different companies bidding out um, transport of the vehicle. They would pick it up, they'd bring it directly to my house. Um, and I was able to find one uh, that was really responsive. Uh, and people can leave reviews. So this guy or this company had maybe a thousand reviews and they were all positive. And, and so I, I, uh, sent them a message and they got back to me right away and and uh, I when I accepted their bid uh, they called me and we talked it all out and, and um, they were able to actually pick up the vehicle within a day or so and so that was on June 19th and they picked up the vehicle on June 21st and I think they had it to me by June 24th um, I was at work and they dropped it off and uh, my wife just had to sign for it, I think. Um, some other uh, questions were uh, regarding the vehicle. Is it easy to find parts? I'm not sure. I assume it's not super easy. Uh, but I don't know that as a fact as of yet. I haven't had to look for anything. Everything thankfully was functioning on my vehicle um, the same day I guess it would be the same day but um, when they dropped off my vehicle the trucking company said that they had dropped off two others that weren't even able to be turned on so you know um, something to keep in mind when you when you bid on these things um, you know they on Iron Planet though show you a video of the vehicle starting and they they do inspections and things like that and make sure that you know there's no leaks or um, oil or anything spilling out um, but I'm not sure exactly when that's done in relationship to when the auction is and then in you know you get it even later than that so you know those checks may have been done four months in advance and then you get your vehicle four months later and it doesn't start or you know something's happened to it it's been hit by hail you know you, you kind of get what you get when you do the auction um, I was fortunate that everything was was pretty much the way it should be or the way it was described um, but I think I was supposed to get a winch with mine and it just didn't come with it um, and you know you get what you get um, let's see um, someone asked what is uh, is it roadworthy and is it you know good for daily driving it's definitely roadworthy I mean you could take this thing anywhere um, they I, I was looking it up and the recommended top speed is 
about 45 miles an hour, I believe. I've gone 45 miles an hour in it, um, and it, I think it could easily go, you know, at least 60, um, but I haven't taken it to that level because I currently don't have a, um, a license plate for it, nor do I have the title, um, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, it did come with a box of spare parts. It didn't come with any particular things. It, you know, there's not like a a um, a list of spare parts that everything comes, every vehicle comes with. It's just kind of you get a box of miscellaneous spare parts, and if they're useful, great. If they're not, well, great. <laughs> um, the gas mileage. So there's two actual um, types of this vehicle. There is the prime mover that either has a, a like a mortar, um, weapon on the back connected, uh, and, or it has an ammunition trailer, um, connected to it. Um, and then there's the light strike vehicle, which is the one that I purchased. Uh, so the prime mover only gets about eight and a half miles per gallon. Um, Take that back. It has 8.5 gallons of fuel in the tank, and you get two tanks. But the light strike vehicle gets 12 gallons of fuel per tank, and you, you get two tanks. And I believe it actually gets 14 miles to the gallon. Um, uh, another question was: Is the four-wheel steering permanently disabled in civilian? Uh, versions of this vehicle or you know once they get it out to civilians I, I will say that my four-wheel steering is disabled uh, there's a fault light that comes on I don't know if it would be something that would be an easy fix or um, or it's just you know you're out of luck but you know I was kind of disappointed when I first got it because I wasn't aware that that was the case but after thinking about it it's not super important to me. Uh, it, that's mostly for fine tuning, you know, your parking or trying to get it into a helicopter. I probably won't be getting it into a helicopter anytime soon, uh, but that would be awesome if anyone has a helicopter I can uh, test it on. Um, and, you know, parking, I just kind of park it wherever I want, so I don't need to use the four wheel steering at this time. Um, let's see. Is there only canvas available for the shell on the outside or is there a hard top and solid doors available? As far as I know, it's only canvas. Um, that was one of the gripes that uh, people had with this vehicle, that they felt that there wasn't enough coverage uh, for the military personnel. Um, I don't know. As far as I know, it's, it's only canvas. Um, how difficult... How difficult is it uh, to register for street use? I don't know yet. I haven't received my title. Um, I did just get an email that said my title was being shipped to my home and I should get it in a few days. Um, I'll keep you updated on that um, as that struggle happens. Um, from my understanding, you know, the title comes and it says it's off-road only and then you have to do some things in order to uh, meet the regulations. Uh, to allow it to be um, street legal. Um, what kind of engine is it? It has a 2.78 liter turbocharged liquid cooled diesel engine. Uh, it has four cylinders and 135 horsepower. And I th think that's all the, the questions people had for me at this point that I had written down. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try and find the answers for you. Um, I haven't had to do much maintenance on it yet. I'll probably have to do an oil change here soon uh, just because I don't know exactly when the last one was. I haven't been doing heavy driving so I, I really um, didn't feel like it was necessary yet but now that the title's coming and I hope to be able to get it out more you know I want to do that. Um, 
again, I, I'm not sure how difficult it'll be to find a oil filter uh, or the correct one. Um, and I did want to wait to do the oil change before I knew exactly uh, what weight of oil to put in, but I was able to find that information thanks to one of um, the viewers. Uh, they sent me um, kind of a packet of information that, that really helped out quite a ton. I I would give a shout out to him, but he kind of sent it to me in, as a private message and everything, so I don't know if he wants that information out there. Um, but thanks a ton, man. That has been super awesome in terms of helping me uh, learn more about the vehicle. Um, all right, well, I will keep you updated. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. I never thought I would have this many people watching, so um, you guys are awesome, and I, let me know if you have any questions about anything, and yeah, take care.